Ja. Ja. So we just finished packing. We're about to head to the airport. Finally, after so long, going back to Europe. Yeah, I'm gonna miss you too, buddy. Back at the airport, and also back to wearing these masks. Feels weird. One interesting thing about the Las Vegas airport is that they have gambling inside the airport. So there's actually a little section right there, a little room dedicated to slots. How funny is that? Hi, hey, welcome, welcome aboard. aboard. Thank you so much. First stop. New Jersey. Final stop. Italy. Bye, thank you. Bye bye. And after three long years, we're back in Italy, and Greta gets to see her family for the first time in two years. All right, so we're awaiting Greta's parents to pick us up right now outside the airport. Overall, a really smooth travel experience for the first time traveling internationally in a very long time. And uh, obviously, it's you know it's really early; it's 8 a.m. But the airport here is really, really deserted. Understandably so. Traveling internationally is just becoming uh, back to normal. I'm really excited. I feel like I need like 10 showers <laughs> to clean up this mess, <laughs> but I'm really excited. <laughs> Ciao, how's it going? Ciao. E appena siamo atterrati nessuno ha applaudito, no? Ho guardato Chris e gli faccio, ma mi sembra strano. I was telling them how everybody how everybody started clapping. No, no, un po' in realtà in una mezza. So obviously we had to stop at a cafe because we were dying to have some actual Italian coffee. So we're here, we're having cappuccino and bomboloni, which is kind of like a donut, but it doesn't have the hole and it has some like cream or chocolate in it. This is my dad <laughs> eating a big fat bomboloni. <laughs> <laughs> and that's <laughs> eating some gelato. <laughs> and then what is this? This is, it's pretty much like pastries, but instead of being sweet, it's like salty. So it'll be like little pizzas and stuff, pastry stuff. Cioè, ne prendo uno e faccio i frontali così. Eh, come facevo, io facevo così, con uno solo. Anche quello si può fare. So Greta's mother speaks five languages, including English, so thank God. Greta and her mom speak English so I can communicate, because I don't really know Italian at all, really. Um, her father, though, only speaks Italian, so it's funny when they're not around to translate. Okay, we're going. He's got to park. My parents got a dog while I was away, so I still haven't met him, but obviously he saw so many pictures. These are my, my doggies. This is Kali. This is Raja. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. So 
Watch out. He's strong, but he's nice. Yeah, he's very like um delicate, even though he's like really big and strong. <laughs> Where are we going? <laughs> You're recording? Yeah, this is Gabriele. Yay! 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 And this Yay. is so Sophia. <laughs> Sophia! So I'm with two Greta's best friends in Italy and we're on our way to this, this path. So we made it to the trail, but unfortunately it's closed due to COVID. So half of the trail, you're walking on rocks, like little pebbles. And then the other half, you're walking in shallow water that's really like ice cold. And it's supposed to help circulation. And it's a free, fun, kind of relaxing thing to do in town here. Uh, hopefully it opens up soon. We are at La Locanda degli Eventi, which is a... La Locanda degli Eventi. We ventured off to a town called Ronago, which is 100 meters from the Swiss border. So we're pretty far out on the edge of Italy and we're having dinner. I'm gonna order some pizza. What are you gonna get? Huh? <laughs> what are you getting for dinner? I, I take a pizza with the four cheeses. We have the bread, we have the cheese, um, different types of <laughs> <laughs> you got it. meat meats meats my english is very good eh? mm. <laughs> how funny Oh my god, do they spit? <laughs> yeah, they spit. <laughs> <laughs> so we just made it down to Como. We're heading into the city to watch the finals of the Euro soccer tournament, which is one of the biggest soccer tournaments in the world. And Italy has made the finals, so we thought it'd be cool to go to the center of the city and try to watch the game somewhere and see just the commotion and people going crazy, hopefully. Ah, uh, I miss this city. In this way. So we just did some research and we found out that the last time Italy has won the European Championship was in 1968, 53 years ago. Soccer, aka calcio is what they call it in Italy, is their pretty much their only sport that they take serious, their national sport. Check this out.
So before heading to the pub, we wanted to do a little bit of exploring around the city to see, you know, the other restaurants and see the other places people were watching the game. And right as we did that, we, we took a pit stop. We stopped at one of the restaurants and watched the game for like 10 seconds. And Italy scored to tie it, 1-1. And everyone went crazy. That was so cool. So now there's about 20 minutes left in the game. So we're in overtime, we're awaiting a winner. Hype is building in Como. We have to win. We have to win. <laughs> I can't even see the ball. <laughs> I'm too far. So overtime just ended. They're headed to penalty shots to decide the winner. It's crazy. No. La sbaglia il bastardo. Cornuto, bastardo. Sbaglia! Sì! There's one slight chance that they're going to make it. Adesso si è ribaltata. We're attempting to get back to our car, but celebrations are ensuing in the city. 